much, Kaede. The meeting started just about uh, 20 minutes after 11 a.m. That's when they were able to uh, decide to begin the meeting and uh, the journalists were called in to come and get a glimpse of uh, the beginning part of the meeting. And uh, majorly, what the governor of uh, Ondo said, who is the coordinator of the Southern Governors Forum, said is that they will start the meeting and afterwards there will be a communique released on the outcome which also will be read out in front of the cameras after the meeting and which will capture some of their discussion today. They have not told us what exactly they will be discussing. But basically what we are hearing is this is a follow-up meeting to the Asaba meeting which has now been popularly called the Asaba Declaration where the governors came up with issues relating to uh, open grazing and the ban on uh, cattle uh, rearing across from the northern to the southern region of the country and of course some issues relating to restructuring in Nigeria. But uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, aside the governors, uh, the, some deputy governors were representing their governors, three of them are representing their governors but other officials of government are also here. One of them will also be speaking to right here on news track. I'm being joined by a federal lawmaker, a member of the House of Representatives from Bayelsa State, Honorable Fred Agbedi. He joins us right now on uh, News Track. Thank you so much, Honorable, Thank for you. joining us on News Track. Give us a much. sense of how important this meeting uh, is, considering the outcome of the meeting of Asaba. Uh, this is an all important meeting for the southern region of this country, as well as Nigeria as a whole. Uh, because considering the last Asaba declaration where issues of uh, open grazing ban, constitution amendment, restructuring, as well as uh, the petroleum industry bill and sundry issues were raised, it is very clear today that today's discourse is to deepen the decisions. Because between the Asaba declaration and today, a lot more developments have arisen. And it is important and necessary that the Southern governors meet again to deepen the discourse that is ongoing. And so for all of us who come, who are representatives in the National Assembly representing the Southern states, we have before now adopted the decisions of the Southern uh, Governors Forum. You know, and whatever decisions, whatever results that arise from the deepening of the discourse that is ongoing today in this meeting will further be adopted by the members of National Assembly who come from the southern region. And all these are intended to strengthen Nigeria, to bring about peace in Nigeria, to grow democracy, and ensure that instead of rancor, there should be jaw, 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 and there should be understanding such that Nigeria will grow, develop in peace, and people will live together in harmony. Understanding that they have a reason, they have a benefit, being part of this federal republic that is referred to as Nigeria. One of the issues raised uh, the la after the Asaba Declaration was how they need to legalize some of the outcomes of the Asaba Declaration. Do you think that, I mean, we have a lot of lawyers and the governors, do you think that might be part of their conversations today? Of course, it will certainly be. After the Asaba Declaration, there were a lot of reactions. Some people were saying, oh, they were sitting in a hotel to take decisions and all that. Of course, that was not true. The fact remains that before even the Asaba Declaration, a number, a greater proportion of states across the South has made laws, signed to into law by the governors banning open grazing. And so it was not as if it was governors just meeting to talk what the actions were already not taken. Yes, a few states may not have had their laws in place then, but majority of the states had had laws assented to by their governors banning opening, open grazing in their state. And the understanding that is required from other sections of this country is to know and understand that this is a process that will largely stem insecurity, coupled with the issues of state police and all that, that restructuring that the governors are, you know, uh, agitating for. 
and the people feel that this is what can make Nigeria great. Right. And if it can make Nigeria great, why don't we all, you know, uh, accept it, work with it, and ensure that we have a Nigeria that is united, is peaceful, is uh, progressive. Honorable Fred uh, Agberi, thank you so much for talking to us right here thank on this track. That's Honorable Fred Agberi, uh, a member of the House of Representatives. It was, uh, he came with uh, the governor of Bayelsa State.